Welcome to Cars in Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis Hyundai and Kia Cars. Please bear with me. Korea still requires masks indoors. That's the reason why I'm wearing one. And the car I have behind me today, this micro car from Kia called Ray. And some of you guys are more familiar with the term K car from Japan. And this is actually one of the best selling cars here in Korea. And ever since its debut in back in 2011, this model actually never got a full change. Its first facelift was back in 2017. Finally, Kia Ray got, well, once again, another facelift. This is not a full change. However, this definitely means something now. And it's uniquely Ray, I want to point out. So let me give you all about it. The walk around of the exterior and interior. Some of the things that may not be visible on the outside just yet. There is just so many design change to this uh, Kia facelift Ray. Well, what stands out the most, I want to point out that DRL, that is quite aggressive. And as well as this dark metal color that they have used in the center instead of the big radiator grill that portion is seems to be more than enough to cool down the car and whatnot there is no emblem in the middle rather it's pushed to the left and there is where the Kia emblem logo sits hence carrying out the real opposite united which is the design theme of the Kia brand overall there's a lot of things inside as well but before we go in let me zoom in on this go badge and this is something that we've seen from other cute cars. They have these uh, go badges. Whichever suits your taste, you can choose and customize it yourself. And I was actually curious as to how they have attached this badge right here, but it's using a Velcro. So it should be rather a very simple and easy installation and also for you to take them out. There is Piano Black around the bumper the moldings it's using the plastic so it's really really that classic black and white kind of a theme with that little bit of indentation in the middle right here the above and the bottom that actually is the tiger face which is the family look for kia brand started off with the tiger nose on the previous models but finally kia made it up to the tiger face which is actually integrated on all if not most of Kia cars well since I have one right here as well that is the latest Sorento which has the tiger face as well last but not least the Seltos that's got a uh, facelift as well by the way this is a beautiful car I've done a review and also a test drive on this car so go check out my video in the card above so let's get back to Kia Ray so the car being a micro car there just isn't too much for me to go through and just in case you haven't seen this car before it has the opposing doors so on the driver's seat it is a good old traditional door type where you would just open it up like so but come around there's a door on a passenger side as well but it has a sliding door for the second row seat with that it gives this crazy crazy space all throughout as we can see there's one more a trunk button is hidden right here once you open that up well adogo greets you a gigantic gigantic storage inside out just look at that it doesn't get any more roomier than this from a micro car like this when you let yourself in there are just more storages above here and this is actually very very practical you can leave your document a laptop you name it you can fit those in here and that is the extra storage everywhere and i will go through these um genuine accessories one by one but just look at this a meal tray and they've been really clever with this simple physics you just stick it in and look at that so it gets stuck right in it's never going to fall apart so it kind of fits just right in there perfectly so there are rubbers attached at the bottom to prevent intense scratching so the overall theme with the ski array is probably a camping weekend with your doggo so you have the doggo pouch right there and you have the blind which is all genuine accessories go on a camping with your doggo like so and there is the seat belt for this rear seat as well one in the middle actually that one is for the one on the left seat one in the middle it's actually hanging from the ceiling like so and just look at this it's just perfect around the edges and of course you can 
close it like so. Once you do, it's going to look like that. You can't see anything from the outside. Door shut. Just look how perfectly they fit with the car and around the car. That is one of the beautiful thing about the genuine accessories. Another big flag type glass right here. And also the side mirror has been lowered to maximize your visibility. The less blind spots for cars is always, always better regardless of which car you drive. And look at that. That is actually operated with the magnet here. The material used here is kind of a scratch proof. Blacked out side mirrors, blacked out wheels, and this car being, it doesn't have a gigantic wheels and tires. Let's see, there we go. It has 175, 50, 15 wheels all around. I love when the manufacturers actually black out the wheels. It's got the ventilated discs as well. A cute little suspension strut. To be honest, it doesn't provide the best driving experience or ride quality possible compared to other vehicles, but that is all compensated by the utility of this car. I mean, this car can do so much that other cars just simply cannot do. Let's go, well, just starting off with the sliding door. Just getting in and out of this car is never this easy. When you park in a very crowded area, which is a lot of cases here in Korea, you can easily let yourself out with the sliding door on a second row. You can actually squeeze through the second row seat and let yourself out that way too. It's full fold for the second row seat as well, but but wait for you to check this out. And this is something that we kind of have uh, seen from another micro car from Hyundai named uh, Casper. So take the headrest out, but look at that. You can fully fold the first row seats as well. You can do the same for the passenger seat. It's so funny that I didn't really spend much time about the steering wheel and also the interior, despite the fact this car being a car after all. So let me give you that as well. So put it back up like that. And also it has the reclining seats on the second row seat too. This definitely is quite the experience because I actually never have reviewed a driver's seat or the interior from the second row seat like so. That is the gauge cluster that we have seen from other micro car. Once again, quite similar, if not the same to Hyundai Caspers. The drive modes and other. So you cannot set the distances with the car in front of you. So that means it has the uh, cruise control Control, but not the HDA. There is the heated steering wheel. Also, you can turn off the VDC when needed. That is the gear shifter and selector is located right above here. The reason being, of course, to maximize the space possible. Same thing, the extra storage over here and you can control the heated and ventilated seats for the driver's seat. It's really about the storage all around this car. Another accessory, you can probably hang your coats and purses. And there is the heated seats for the second row seats as well. And also seat type, charging port. Nice touch, never hurts to have that. Or perhaps it's like a must nowadays. Um, they have utilized everything. It's all about the space for this Kia Ray. Oh, let me show you about the flag type I told you about. There is lesser blind spot over here this way. And same goes for the passenger seat as well. That never hurts to have. If I were to close the door, so that is what it feels like. So being able to see throughout the window that way, but there's also a gigantic, look at this, literally. If it wasn't there, I wouldn't be able to see that white Mercedes passing by just now. So that's what I mean by having lesser blind spots. The infotainment system is just a good old type, very self-explanatory and intuitive. Just push, push it around, twist it around, volume. And of course the buttons for the windows and all. Let me show you the rear design. The design is carried over from the front. So anybody would be able to tell and let me wrap it up by showing you the light operations. And also the front. Cute everywhere. So this is the tiny engine that Kia Ray has. And well, of course, it's got everything that a car needs. A battery, brake fluid, re reservoir, 
an engine <laughs> and a transmission underneath and it has the CVT transmission. So that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe and like Cars in Korea if you did and I'll see you with more cars from Genesis, Hyundai and Gia next time.